Hello everyone, how are you doing today? We are here back with a different video. In this video we have an Acer Aspire laptop. This one is an Acer Aspire ES14 and the exact model is an ES1-420-35P6. This one comes with a 2 gig DDR3 RAM and a 500 gigabyte mechanical drive. In this one I'm going to show you guys how to make it much much faster. Uh, so if you want to open the games or applications or something so you can boot up actually really fast I recommend you guys to upgrade the hard drive to an, a solid state drive or called SSD drives I'll leave the link in the description where you can purchase the SSD drives and let's get into it pretty much all right next first thing you want to flip over your laptop and you want to remove the bottom cover in order to remove it go ahead and remove all the screws that you see on the bottom cover everything one on the corner so there should be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen screws should be in total so once you remove the sixteen screws i have them right over here so you guys don't want to watch me remove screws so remove all the these are the flips screws i use my ifixit tool set and we is a screw set phillips number zero all right and next thing is to remove the caddy for the DVD ROM. Just pull it out. It's an empty plastic. Next step would be opening the laptop in 45 degree angle. And what you want to do here, you want to grab yourself an opening tool or a use a guitar pick. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover. And then you want to wiggle it around just like that. And you want to hear some clickings. You see those clips right there? You want to get those loose. So do the sides, go all the way to the back. Do the other side. There. Once the laptop is open in 45 degree angle, just like this, don't yank it because you're going, there's a flex cable here. It's for the touchpad and the keyboard is right at the back. So to remove this one, just put your fingernail on the back where the black plastic is just lift it up in 45 90 degrees and the ribbon cable is just going to slide out and to remove the ribbon cable for the flex cable for the keyboard pull these two triggers backward towards the back end of the laptop just about one half a millimeters and the keyboard is going to just pop out next is to open up completely the laptop 90 degrees and then what you want to do you want to grab it from the side work it around there's some clips at the band at the back, they're gonna get loose. And there's your palm rest with everything on it. All right, next we have the hard drive right over here. To remove the hard drive, there's only one screw holding it. So remove this one screw on the caddy. Next, you won't be able to remove it because the right speaker is uh, on the way. So lift, there's no screw here. Just lift up the right speaker towards the ceiling. Just pull it out evenly and pull it to one side now you can grab the caddy and then pull it slide it down about what half a centimeter this way you're gonna see the gap there now you can go ahead and pick it up to remove and i don't have one of my ssd drives here but the ssd drives are the same shape the same size so once you get you get the ussd drive let's think about this is your ssd drive it's gonna look the same you want to remove the screw on this side and the screw at the back side. So there's a cross screw. So you're going to remove them. Once you remove the screw, just remember where the SATA cable is and where the power cable is. So you're going to put it in the same same direction. Don't put it the other way around. Otherwise, it's not going to match the contacts. So you want to just remove the caddy from the hard drive. Just lift it up. Yeah, a little bit of I don't know why this caddy is not coming out you have to use a little pressure there's a little bumps in here it goes right to the holes you have to just pull it out or just slide it out just like that once you remove the mechanical drive grab your SSD drive place it right on top in there and just put it in place and put the 
the screws that you removed. For this demonstration, I'm not gonna do this. Just imagine this is your SSD drive. Put it right there. Grab the screws. If you haven't tried SSD drives before, trust me, once you try it, you'll never go back to mechanical drive, at least not for your main operating systems. Once you put it, oh, I forgot. Here, once you put it down, put it in the offset position, and then you want to slide it towards the jack. Don't try putting it in, in an angle or something like that. It's not going to go through. You have to first set it down in a offset position, and then you want to slide it out towards the jack. And then grab this white speaker, put it in, grab the screw for the caddy, press the screw right there. Now we finished there. So what you want to do, you want to grab that palm rest with the keyboard everything. Just put it in 45 degree angle, hold it just like that. You want to grab this cable and you want to slide it from the back end towards the jack. Once you is in there, try to hold it and pull this corners backward so it keeps the flex cable in place. Now. For this one right here, make sure this lock is facing up. You slide down from the back side the cable. Make sure it's on, hold it. And with your other hand, just close the lid. Now you can open up the laptop. And one of the last steps is to grab the top and bottom and you're gonna pinch it. All right, if you see any opening, just like at the back or anything like that, you see this opening right there? You wanna just go ahead and pinch those. All right. And the last step would be to put down the caddy, slide it right in there, and then grab all the screws, put it right where it should be. And that's how you upgrade your mechanical drive to an SSD drive. And I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, you know where to leave them. And even if you have a request, ask me in the comments. Also remember, once you remove your SSD drive, you need to go to a, find yourself a USB stick, at least eight gig. And you wanna download the Windows ISO image from the Microsoft website. And it's gonna automatically burn it into the USB, plug it in and then boot it up and then follow the steps and then you want to have your freshly new installed windows thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video